Come on, come on. Good morning, everybody. My name is Yuna Elias, or 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 uh, Uni Six. Um, this is this is the part of the service where we talk about um, why we give to God. Um, so please turn your biblays with me to Psalm fifty one. Psalm your biblays. This is I'm Spanish. Yeah, Spanish. Psalm fifty one. Bibliographer. Psalm 51, verses 1 through 13, and give me a year when you're there. I got a few years? Okay. Again, for those who did not year, it's Psalm 51, 1 through 13. Oh, there you go. There you go. And it says, come on, he the rod, come on. Um, and it, we'll read it from the NLT version. It says, have mercy on me, O God, because of your unfailing love. Because of your, because of your great compassion, blot out the stain of my sins. Wash me clean from my guilt. Purify me from my sin. For I recognize my rebellion that haunts me day and night. Against you and you alone have I sinned. I have done what is evil in your sight. You will be proved right in what you say, and your judgment against me is just. For I was born a sinner, yes, from the moment my mother conceived me. But you desire honesty from the womb, teaching me wisdom even there. Purify me from my sins, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I, and I will be whiter than snow. Oh, give me back my joy again. You have broken me. Now let me rejoice. Don't keep looking at my sins. Remove the stain of my guilt. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a loyal spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence and don't take your Holy Spirit with, um, from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Then I will teach you way, teach your ways to rebels and they will return to you. I give you my wife, Kaimisa. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good morning. My name is Kamisa J. Jemfi. <laughs> and I have the honor of sharing for communion this morning. I know this may be a unique scriptures to use for why um, I give for Contro, but I believe this encompasses giving. Here, David was pleading with God to forgive him, to wash his sins away because he sins against God. David wanted God to give him another chance, and that's exactly what God did for us. He gave his son so that those who truly follow him could be forgiven. Romans 5, 8 says, But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. We have all sinned against God, and yet while we were still sinners, God gave Jesus. Take a second to think about that. God gave Jesus, his only son. With that in mind, how could I not give? In comparison, it sounds crazy. God gave his only son and I struggle with giving money. And it makes me think it's deeper than giving money. God gave Jesus because he loves us. Giving is a heart decision. You have to love God so much that you are willing to give everything just like him. And to be real, it's not always easy, but God never said it would be easy. The Bible is so beautiful because it tells us the truth, that things will be hard, but we can persevere through it. In the time that I struggled to give, I had to check my heart. I would look at uni like, come on. <laughs> and then I would complain, like, I don't want to do this. It's an inconvenience. I don't want to be with this person. I don't want to give this person a ride or whatever else I didn't want to do. And his response would be to tap my chest and say, fix it. So that's what I did. Even when I was tight about him tapping my chest, I reflected on my heart because that was the issue. And if you're struggling, I encourage you to reflect on your heart. Get open, accept discipling. And that discipling might come with a rebuke. I was rebuked by Charmaine and I cried, but it was good because it helped me to reflect on my heart. And changed my heart. I was able to go to God and pray and be grateful to be shown the ugly things inside of my heart. I was also able to change the way I think. I used to think I have to give. I have to serve. And it made me bitter because I don't like being told I have to do something. <laughs> now I think I get to serve. I get to give. And it softens my heart. 
So I want to encourage you, reflect on your heart and praise Psalms 5110. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a loyal spirit in me. And then make a choice to love. Love the leaders who Concho takes care of. Love the laws who we as disciples can help save when we give. God's plan was always to save the lost. And we see in Psalms 51, 12 to 13, it says, Restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. And I will teach your ways to rebels and they will return to you. For the disciples, someone before us gave money and people wherever you were met as a rebel and you was able to be taught the truth and be brought back to God. Do the same for others. Give freely and with all your heart. Show God you love him. So why do I give? Even when it's not easy, I have three reasons. One is Psalm 5111, which says, do not banish me from your presence and don't take your Holy Spirit from me. I don't ever want to live not being in God's presence because my heart wasn't right. The second reason is because I get to. God chose me to give. I'm going to do it. And lastly, and the most important, is because I love God. Thank you for letting me share. Yeah. Um, yeah, so before we go into prayer, if you guys want to give, if you feel compelled to, for those who are visiting, don't feel no, you know forced to. Um, uh, the collection plate thing is going to go around, but you can also give online at nyc dot, dot, dot contribution at usd21 all right make sure you remember it's dot org okay amen okay and there's also envelopes that you can scan to you know give your contribution let's let's pray father god i love you father in heaven lord just thank you for allowing us Father, not to really give to you, but Father, you've been given to us, Lord, and that's what contribution really is, Lord. Um, and I pray that we can just honor you, with the life that you've given us, Father God, the, the sacrifice you've given us through Christ, Lord, with the little monies that we have, Father. I just pray that for anyone, Lord, who's just is pulling at their heart, Lord, like, ah, they don't want to give, Lord. I just pray that they can just be convicted to just keep in mind that they were once lost, Lord, that they once rebelled, Father God, and that we can just show you the love that you deserve. We love worship and praise you. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen.